if you don't already know, the health compass is really just taking the four cardinal points of a compass, north, south, east, west, and we're just exchanging those points with uh, north for nutrition, south for sleep, east for exercise, and west for wellness. And if we right. just broke it down simply for you to have a roadmap, to have some type of a, you know, here's our starting point, this is where we're gonna start, this would be a, a chart that I would wanna give you or give the client um, and have them fill out before we started discussing how to customize your plan. Right. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'm looking at go ahead. this. Yeah, I'm looking at this idea. What are your observations? What are your concerns? And what would you like to see different? So yeah, certainly that gets your brain thinking. All right, what are my observations? All right, let's break it down. Nutrition and exercise E wellness, W, sleep. All right, now the observations go then into concerns. All right, yes, are these observations, are they could be concerned? Like, yes, yeah, some definitely would be a concern. Um, some are easier than others. Like, okay, if I haven't been sleeping, that can be a concern. What's the concern? Well, if I'm not sleeping, then I have low energy. Um, my brain function isn't as good. Um, and what would you want to see different? Well, I mean, obviously, I want to start sleeping better. So not speaking myself, I've been sleeping pretty well lately, which I'm happy about. But, you know, um, the, I see what would you see different? It can certainly tie into, okay, all right, there's got to be a plan in place. Like how, how do we, what's the plan in place? And notice yeah. the, the, those concerns and what needs to be different to uh, reality. <laughs> so it, as, as you just walked yourself through that, Joel, it's, it's easy to kind of identify, but a coach can really dive a little bit deeper to like concerns can also be fears, can be fears of like, what am I either doing currently or am I scared about changing or is this going to happen? Sure. What's going to be my obstacles, my roadblocks, things like that. And then what would you like to see different is like, you're really just fine tuning the results that you're truly looking for. And that could be like, in a week, what would you like to see different? What would you like to see different in a month? And then what would you like to see different in six months? So now we can start goal setting with the client and we can right. get this all done in that first session. So now we're hitting the ball or we're, we're hitting the ground running right away instead of kind of, sometimes it takes a while to learn about a client and learn kind of like their, their habits. We can get that process speeded up so much faster by kind of identifying exactly what they want right from the start and also having them identify, wow, I am doing this through an observation. I do need to be concerned about this or I need to stop fearing this. And then here's what I really want to change. Right. Yeah, definitely. I think it's an awesome, yeah, awesome little starting point to think about and get it done. Absolutely. So just wanted to get that out to everybody. Hope that helps. Um, any last closing words you want to say, Joel? No, let's have a great Friday. It's a nice day out. Great weekend coming up, too. I know. I'm excited for it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Sounds good. We'll talk to you soon. You bet. All right. Cheers.